So last Monday night into Tuesday morning, observers in the Western Hemisphere anticipated what might have turned out to be a once-in-a-lifetime meteor storm as Earth plowed through the trail of debris left by disintegrating comet 73P schwassmann wachmann 3 uh, unfortunately, the Tau Herculids only offered between 10 to 25 meteors per hour, rather than the thousands we had hoped for. Uh, I did manage to get my camera set up around midnight to take a series of long exposure photos, uh, which you're seeing here. I moved it from my driveway to the backyard so it wouldn't get stolen, and I just let it run all night. It only caught a few meteors in its limited field of view, which appear as momentary blips in the time lapse. And toward the end there, you can see a couple of airplanes darting by. Now here is a blow up of one of the meteor streaks I caught. And I'm not sure whether that uh, multi-chromatic appearance is due to the camera sensor or the actual color of the meteor streak because sometimes they're green or red or different colors depending on the materials in the in the particle or, or object that's entering our atmosphere uh, or some combination of both but there you go that's <laughs> I really didn't I actually didn't see any with my naked eye although I didn't stay out there for very long because I had work in the morning so I couldn't stay up any later than I already had but uh, but there you go um, now, let's see. Uh, something else my camera picked up were a series of weird green dots that only appear for a few frames uh, and not, in, not necessarily in sequence near the left side of the image. So I don't know if you can see those there, but they're in the upper left and then in the middle left and then a little bit in the lower left are, are like one, two, three, four, five, six green dots. Uh, and if we go back a frame, there's different dots. Now, I don't. Now, this is this is a 4K display that I'm showing this on. So I don't know if you can see this, but in the upper left, if you look to the if you look to the southeast of that green dot there is a very tiny red dot that does not move from frame to frame. And that's actually uh, a dead pixel on my camera sensor. So that dot is what a dead pixel looks like. These green dots uh, are something else. Uh, they're not dead pixels per se, but um, uh, they don't appear as streaks like a meteor or airplane would. And they even appear to be in front of the tree in the foreground which makes me think that they're either a glitch in my camera sensor, maybe not a dead pixel, but like a, a momentary glitch, um, because my camera is about 12 years old now, or that there's somehow a reflection inside the lens from an unknown, an unknown light source. Uh, but my, my guess would be that it's just a sensor glitch, especially since it's, the dots are appearing in front of the tree. Obviously, they're not something in the background. Um, and all of the dots appear about the same size and uh, they don't appear to move like anything else. You know, they don't appear to move at all. They just, they, they exist in one frame and they don't exist in the next frame. So uh, I'm guessing that my camera is just on a slow downward descent into, into uh, uh, its old age. <laughs> 